Hey guys, Agent Whitehawk here, and welcome to episode 5 of Anime Fusions. This week is another Ruby fusion between Ruby Rose and her half-sister Yang Sha Long, creating Burning Rose. I'm basically a sucker for anything fire-related, so that's the main reason I decided on this one, that, and it visually came out SICK. It was a ton of fun to play around with, so let's get right into it. Their abilities are pretty straightforward, but a bit scattered. Their semblance is the ability to take hits and damage and deal it back on their foes with incredible speed, the likes of which almost mimic teleportation. The speed physically manifests in a mixture of flames and burning rose petals as the amount of energy cannot be clearly contained in the user's body. Burning Rose carries an axe called Danwin, named after the Welsh Sword of Legend, with energy-enhanced gauntlets. The axe cannot be handled without the gauntlets, as it is hot to the touch. The axe serves as an advantage to Burning Rose's semblance as it can take hits and store up energy as well as Rose. If Rose is disarmed while their semblance is activated, Dan Wynn can set the surroundings on fire and melt through concrete. In addition, the energy can be channeled through the axe into the gauntlets to enable hand-to-hand -hand fighting should Rose be disarmed. When their semblance is fully activated, the axe is superheated to set whatever Rose attacks on fire. In addition to their flame capabilities, Rose can also create small fire worlds to trap enemies in, and can remove oxygen from said fire worlds to incapacitate enemies. Given Ruby and Yang's personalities, this fusion is slightly unstable, meaning it can get out of control easily. Both Ruby and Yang exhibit impulsive behavior and somewhat poor control over their emotions, so this fusion would rule with its heart rather than its head. Their semblance is extremely powerful and deals a lot of collateral damage and weakens the two very quickly. This fusion cannot use Silver Nova given their instability. That's all for the super nerdy stuff. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to. Don't forget to request next week's fusion. Next week will be a typical anime fusion, or possibly even a cartoon fusion. Either way, it's going to be cross-gender because I want to try that out. Anyway, I will see you guys next week and enjoy the video. Thank you.